Welcome to this thought for the day. Today I'd like to reflect on the life and ministry of Boniface of Mainz, whom we remember in the church's calendar on June 5th. Boniface's birth name was something like Winfred. There are various spellings of it. It was a pope who gave him the name Boniface years later. He lived from 675 until 754. He was born in Devon and educated in the monasteries. He became a monk and a schoolmaster. Boniface is credited with writing the first Latin grammar in England. He was ordained priest when he was 30 years old, and he soon developed a reputation as a preacher and teacher, and eventually became diocesan envoy to the Archbishop of Canterbury. He felt a strong calling to missionary work and left England for Europe. He initially found missionary work among the unresponsive pagans very difficult, so he went to Rome to have his ministry confirmed by the Pope. Boniface was consecrated bishop in 722 and continued his missionary work in Hesse in Germany. There, it said, a famous incident occurred. The pagans there venerated a sacred oak tree. Boniface took it upon himself to chop the oak tree down. And when the pagans saw that their gods did not exact revenge, many of their followers converted to Christianity. Pope Gregory III made Boniface Archbishop in 732. He proved also to be one of the great administrators of the church. In both France and Germany, he ended corruption, created new dioceses, and called the church together in synods. Now, we're not just talking about tweaking at the edges of an already existing organisation. David Hugh Farmer tells us that in France, no council had been held for many years. Bishoprics were often vacant, sold, or given to unsuitable laymen without training or vocation. Boniface was one of those church leaders who could bridge that seeming divide between church and state. He had been well supported by popes, kings, and even the monasteries back home in England. In 754, he was waiting by a river bank to receive some candidates for confirmation. He and his companions were attacked and killed by a band of pagans. He was nearly 80 years old. What an example he is of someone living out the words from 2 Timothy. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. These words could have been written for Boniface. In a way, they were written for him and they were written for us. In many ways during this time of pandemic, it feels like we are preaching out of season. But then people need to hear the gospel in every time, these times as much as any other. Yes, written for all of us, but we cannot be copies of Boniface. We instead have to make these words our own, no matter how humble we perceive our ministry and how feeble we consider our faith. We're all called to offer ministry in the name of Christ, to show Christ to others that they may experience Christ in us, to encourage one another and to build each other up. Also in the second epistle to Timothy, we read these words. I have fought the good fight. I finished the race. I've kept the faith. When we come to that time in our lives when we can say those words for ourselves, what quality of life would we like to be looking back at? What achievements would we like to be able to offer to God? And for what shortcomings will we be asking God's forgiveness? We're not called to be Boniface of Mainz. But we are called to be who God destines us to be. Thank you.